What up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. We have been working out here on the red brick house. Um, I will actually show you what we ended up having to do completely. Um, we just got down here and had to take care of some other stuff before we got here. But what we've had to do is rebuild the exterior portion of the house right here. This literally was rotted out where there was nothing holding it. We have built up a whole framework where we jacked it up and put it and got it up here uh, in place. And it's uh, a good feeling to know that we've got this part. We still have to come through, pull off some more of this tomorrow and yeah. fix the corner. Say what? Okay. Um, and of course, clean up all this mess out here. But to get this portion of this done is huge. And once we get this old siding here that's just literally falling apart um, on here and get some sheathing on here, it's going to be nice. We're actually going to use uh, lap siding, wood siding like this, but we're going to make sure we prime it both sides before we put it up um, to make sure that it stays in good shape. So I'll take you inside and show you exactly what we did in a few minutes. Okay, let's, as the sun's going down, on another day, we'll take a peek here. If we can, we have jacked up this part of the house. We've gotten close to being level. We need a few more 105 inch studs to go up here in place. We'll sheave this tomorrow and it's gonna be nice and strong whoo we're not here that long a couple days a week but we get a lot done in the time that we're here let me show you upstairs real quick and uh with it being taco tuesday we're gonna go get tacos for dinner tonight let's take a quick look this floor of course is a lot sturdier than it had been and up here we have take a look at this all these this is about half of what we need for our ceiling up in here this is all been stained we're going to varnish them you see we got more of them over here but now this was our problem child in here this is where the back corner of the house was bouncy it's not bouncy anymore. It's snug. We spent about the last four hours jacking it up and getting it in place. We still need to uh, get a little bit more right in here uh, to get it completely settled. Tomorrow, probably finish that. I'll probably frame where the shower's gonna go in here and do some more demo downstairs. I'm a little out of breath. I've gotten my 10,000 steps in going inside and outside. But look at that view. That's what's worth it. All these are gonna be up here. And maybe next week when we come in, we'll have a coat of varnish on these. We'll start putting those in place and we're gonna start working on getting all of our rough-ins and um, our plumbing and our electrical. And uh, we have our units on order as well to start getting that stuff put together. We're gonna get the roof painted, so that way it's waterproof and see if we can get a little bit of more time out of it before we have to replace that. Um, our main thing is, is right now to get this together, get our inspections done, and get it to the point where we can stay here. And then we'll continue to do other work on this and hopefully we'll be building on another lot I own, uh, a duplex. Um, down here, the people are moving in like crazy and there's a lack of good housing uh good rental properties for people to stay a lot of people work in charlottesville but it's too expensive to live in charlottesville so uh this has become like a suburb of it uh amazon is building a huge warehouse that's uh, about five miles from here that'll be like a main hub uh as well as other businesses that are coming so yeah the word is out here out in the outskirts to uh 
have a nice place to live. And um, I'm trying to do what I can to save this one. In the course of, wow, since the beginning of the new year, we've gotten the electricity in here. We've gotten uh, the main floor stabilized. Now we've got that back corner. We've got the demo up here done. Uh, we've got the rafters up in place there. We're actually doing really, really well in the couple of days a week that we're spending here. And it's, it's really exciting, to be honest with you. And uh, I'm very proud of it. All right, good people. It's getting dark, and I'm tired, and I'm hungry. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate that you guys. Um, I will do a video showing exactly how we jacked up the uh, floor without, or excuse me, jacked up the house there without it falling on top of us and then being able to uh, frame it. So we'll finish that off tomorrow. Mark Holmes. Look at that. Look at that. This house, it, it's amazing that they, they knew what they were doing when they built these houses. Place as bright as can be. The sun is going down. The sun's going down. And it's still well lit in here. I can imagine people being here 200 years ago. Right here. 200 years ago watching the sunset like I am. It's freaking amazing. And that's one of the reasons why I felt the need, the urge, the desire to go through all of this work for this place. It's our history. I'll see you guys.